This industry is all about decisions. We make them all day, every day. And when it comes to using implants, the decision is in. Do it. But in case you're on the fence, we're going to bust a few myths about implants. Myth number one, non-hormone treated cattle receive a premium compared to implanted cattle. Implanted cattle do not receive a discount at sale barns. Data indicate that the sale price for implanted calves is not statistically different than non-implanted calves. Implants improve weight gain, rate of gain, live weight, and value in each phase of beef production. Myth number two, long-acting implants are always superior to conventional implants. Compared to Cinevex One Grass Long Acting Implant, recent studies show that a component TEG with Thailand conventional implant performs similarly during the stalker phase. It also resulted in increased quality grade when compared to a long acting implant during the stalker phase. On top of that, long acting implants are often two times more expensive than conventional implants. Myth number three. Cattle implanted pre-feedlot phase will perform more poorly in the feedlot and will have reduced carcass quality. The bulk of evidence with suckling cattle and stalker implants suggests that the effects on subsequent finishing performance are minimal. To be clear, the mounting evidence proves that cattle implanted in the pre-feedlot phase will have little to no impact on feedlot performance and carcass quality. So there you have it. The myths are busted, facts are in. Component with Thailand conventional implants can maximize and protect your implant investment. It could make all the difference in your operation.